Oh, Kemi Badenoch is very, very cross. She doesn't like any of this wokey diversity nonsense that the civil servant spends all its time doing, apparently. Oh, hold on. Maybe she does, because she is so cross that there is a list of diverse leaders celebrating the huge contribution they make to public life, and the civil servants, those pesky members of the blob, they haven't put her on the list. And apparently, according to the Daily Telegraph, she's quite cross about this. If you've got a view about this, or in fact anything else, you can call us on 0344 499 1000. Joining me to discuss this is Rafe Hadel Manku, historian and senior fellow of the New Cultural Forum. Rafe, thank you so much for uh, joining us today. Should Kemi be really cross about not being on this list of senior diverse leaders? Well, she certainly can't be surprised, you know. I mean, on, on one hand, she's uh, the most popular cabinet minister amongst Tory voters, but uh, I'm not sure she's going to be that surprised to find out she isn't that popular with the civil service, because, of course, this is just the most recent example of a run-in. Just two days ago, we heard that um, civil service lawyers were trying to allegedly scupper her trans guidance for teachers, and she's previously also come into battle with them over uh, trying to ban gender-neutral toilets. And also, she says that they tried to prevent her meeting with a woman who regretted transitioning. But you would expect, you know, diversity and EDI activists to actually celebrate the stratospheric rise of a black woman to such a high office. And actually, more broadly, you would think that they would uh, also celebrate the Tory party for actually having the most ethnically diverse cabinet in the Western world. But that's not the case, of course. Just like all of our institutions, the civil service celebrates all forms of diversity except for diversity of thought or diversity of opinion. And if you're a small C conservative ethnic minority woman like, you know, Kemi Badnock or Suella Braverman or Priti Patel, well, to many civil servants, you're actually, you've committed a crime that's even worse than being a white man. You're a traitor who has betrayed the cause. And I think that's what uh, we have here. <laughs> But surely the real message should be for Kenny Badnot, not I'm annoyed about not being included. Maybe she absolutely should be included because she is a leader both in British public life but to women as well. Surely her real argument should be is, why on earth are you wasting your time coming up with these nonsense lists rather than doing your job? We've got record waiting times on the NHS. We've got record numbers of people waiting for their immigration claim to be processed. We've got record numbers of young people unable to get a driving test. And what are the civil service doing about it? They're coming up with these nonsense lists. Why don't they just get on, do their job, do what they're paid for, and start delivering services to the British people? Exactly. And look, just, just a week or so ago, we also had the story of senior civil servants having their bonuses linked, not to how well they do their job, if they do it ahead of time and, uh, and uh, below budget, but whether they're actually being seen to push diversity, actually being paid to take their focus off of their work. And this is, of course, is the, one of the many, many things that this government has been slow to wake up to is this ideological capture of our civil service, which, of course, mirrors precisely the long march through all of our institutions we've seen recently. And um, you can also see that also, of course, with the Home Office celebrating Suella Braverman's departure from the Home Office from, uh, and the Supreme Court defeat of the Rwanda bill, there are far more important things for, the, for our, our taxpayer money to go to but the other issue here is also the magazine in which this ad appears. This appears in the Black History magazine, which is linked to a Black History website, which actually claims that white men fantasize that they are genetically equal to black men, and that says that white people are genetically defective descendants of albino mutants. What on earth is the government doing? Because the government's also advertised there. What is the civil service doing advertising in such a despicable sort of publication such as this. I mean, questions need to be raised. They were raised two years ago, and yet this continues to happen. I think that's actually, in a way, an even bigger story here. Well, it is, because we're just completely wasting taxpayers' money. Uh, as we learn from you, uh, the wages of woke is cash, apparently, if you're in the civil service.